Christmas tree at the Christmas party hall. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple wants to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing. Let's be a jolly day. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. You will get a sentimental feeling. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Rock Around the Christmas Tree. <laughs> Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So the original version, if you would like to play along with the original track, you need to place a capo on the first fret and everything else will be exactly the same. To keep things simple, I've left it with the capo off again. Plus, for me, it's a little bit easier to sing. We're going to look at the intro. G, E minor, C, and then D. And you can do the little descending pattern on D. So all I'm doing really is a D, hitting the A string as well, and then doing like a C over D moving my first finger to the second fret of the A string and then back to D. So you effectively got, okay. So I'm doing a little uh, strum here and an up down concentrating on the high two strings. And you notice I leave those two fingers on when I play the E minor. And you can just put the pinky on there on that third fret of the toppy. And then D, C, B, A. But what you saw me doing at the beginning is this. So what I'm doing there, I'm just sliding my two fingers up. I'm leaving them on, so G. Sliding right the way up. If you've got a cutaway, this is going to work. I'm sliding right the way up to 15. And slide in. And E minor. Up down. Up down. Up down. I'm just using one finger to bar them both. And then D. You could go. You could do that thirds, 14 and 15, down up, 12 and 13, 10 and 12, and 8 and 10. Okay, so either or, whichever way you want to do it, that's the intro. So then we're into the first verse, and it starts off with this G chord. D7 and we've got A minor 7 D7 okay I'll show you the rhythm in a second so G D 
D7, A minor, 7, D7, A minor 7, D7, A minor 7, D7, finish with a G. So I'll do the rhythm really slowly. So that's what I'm roughly doing on the G. Because I'm singing and playing, I'm never really concentrating very hard on what I'm doing here. It's always like a feel thing. Down, up, tap, up, up, tap. 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 Down, up, tap, up. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Now, if you're starting off, if you're more intermediate or a beginner, the best way to approach this would be just down ups. So just really easy, just to get a feel of the song. And you're just going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're going to try and sing, right? So you're going to go rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple wants to stop. So you want to keep everything balanced in your strumming. You don't have to do it as fast as me. So you would have seen me doing something else at the intro as well, where I'm going... I'm doing something like that, right? So all I'm doing is when I play the D7, I leave my fingers on the strings, sliding them until my first finger lands in the 10th fret. And it's actually covering the B and top E string, the, the two strings, okay? And then I'm putting my third finger, sorry, my second finger on the third string, the G string, in the 11th fret. Okay, so the trick is to practice going between D7 and your D7 up there, okay? So. so the second part of the verse, you could finish it with this. Again, I'm just referencing back the original track, okay? So the second verse will be rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Down, up, down. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. So all I'm doing there, I'm playing my second finger on the fifth fret on the B string, third finger on the sixth fret on the top E, and I'm doing an upstroke. And as I'm doing it, I'm just pushing this second finger like a little, little bend. Okay, and that just gives it that kind of 50s feel like it was written originally, or 60s, whenever it, whenever it was written. Okay, so they're the two little bits I'm adding in. Then it goes over to the bridge, okay? Now the bridge has got a bar chord in it, okay? So you've got C. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear Okay, so that's a little bit fiddly, but to get around it, if you're struggling with bar chords. Okay, and I'm using the same rhythm as the verses, okay? So you could do the easy version. Then all you do, you leave your first finger on, you remove these two fingers, and you slide the first finger until it gets to the third fret. And you make that into an A minor. Now the trick here is you can't hit the A string. So it's an A minor shape, but we've played it on the third fret. So it effectively becomes a B minor, but we're just skipping this root out. But it will sound fine, look. So we got, you will get a sentimental feeling when you hear, it's fine. Then you play E minor. 
voices singing let's be jolly now what I'm doing there I'm playing an E minor and then I'm putting my first finger in the first fret on the D string and then I'm removing it to a minor seven so you got that descending chromatic progression okay so it's And an A7 and a D7. So let's play that bit. I'll play the simple version, okay? You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with birds of holly. And then you're into rocking around the Christmas tree again. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Okay, and it goes through the section that I don't sing. That's where the solo would be originally. I didn't want to make it complicated here today for you. I wanted to keep it simple. So you can just do a verse without singing. Or you can sing over it if you like. And then it goes into the second bridge. It will just be the same C. B minor, E minor, drop, minor 7, hold on the minor 7, A7, D7, back to the beginning. So at the end I just hold on that A minor 7, D7, A minor 7, D7, G. So you can play the entire song without the little, the little stabs or, and the rhythm claps, you know. You can play it just the simple easy version, okay. There's no rules, guys. Remember, make it easy for yourself, okay? Now, right at the end, I finish with pretty much the intro. So it's pretty cool if you can get that right. Down, up, down. Split the guitar in two, so low strings and high str strings. Down, up, down. Play an E minor, down. Up, down, then play a C with a pinky on the third fret on the top E. Up, down, and then D, drop, drop, drop. Just finish with the G. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. Don't forget, I've got some links below for some t-shirts for sale. And if you'd like to support me over here, guys, I don't get paid for these lessons. Any loose change you have would be massively appreciated. And thank you so much to everyone that has donated to me in the past. But please don't forget to send me your email so I can message you back and thank you. Enjoy, guys. I'll see you at the same time next week. Yeah.